Throughout human history, we've used the power of plants to better our lives. And be it growing vegetables for consumption, finding herbs to create medicine, or weaving cotton to make clothing, plants really do serve a number of useful purposes. However, there are a few that have the potential to do a lot more harm than good. In fact, some of them are so toxic that they can lead to your death in a matter of hours. We're going to take a look at some of these quick killers on this episode of Super Freaky Science. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss our latest content. This small flower may seem harmless, but it packs a surprisingly toxic punch. Found throughout Europe and North America, these plants are notable for containing more than 30 cardiac glycosides. These nasty little toxins are troublesome because they damage the heart's ability to pump blood. Consumption of lily of the valley usually results in blurred vision, an irregular pulse, and stomach aches. But in severe cases, heavy consumption can lead to seizures and even death. Despite this plant being a seriously toxic flower, believe it or not, people actually choose to feature this flower in their weddings. Crazy, right? As a matter of fact, at the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge herself had Lily of the Valley in her bridal bouquet. More power to you, Kate. Just not sure that's exactly my cup of tea. And society's obsession with this poisonous plant doesn't stop there. In 1956, French luxury goods company Dior developed a fragrance that simulates Lily of the Valley, which became a classic. Lily of the Valley was also the national flower of Yugoslavia. Considering that as few as two of these leaves can be strong enough to kill a pet or a young child, it's probably best to keep the Lily of the Valley far from your backyard garden. Rosary peas look innocent enough. Found throughout the world's tropical regions, these small red and black seeds are really pretty. In fact, locals often use them to make colorful rosaries, hence the name. However, while they may be pretty to look at, they aren't so pretty once you've popped one in your mouth. Highly toxic, rosary peas wreak havoc by stopping your cells from creating proteins, leading to massive cell death within the body. If not treated promptly, a high amount of consumption can cause death in as little as 72 hours. So if you're on a tropical vacation and see some colorful locally made rosaries for sale, don't put it in your mouth. Commonly found throughout North America, the white snake root is a weed-like flower that can grow anywhere from one to four feet tall. Although a safe food source for many animals, the plant contains a toxic chemical known as trematome. Extremely dangerous if ingested in large quantities, many early American settlers would unknowingly allow their cows to feed on the plants, thus contaminating their milk. Leading to what was commonly known as milk sickness, it was in fact this plant that led to the death of Abraham Lincoln's mother. Luckily, modern cleaning techniques ensure that this plant's deadly toxins are filtered out of the milk before it hits your cereal bowl. If you couldn't tell by its name, the suicide tree is not a plant that should be messed with. The toxic tree is found throughout Asia, but primarily in India, and it's unfortunately often used for exactly what its name suggests. However, what really makes this tree toxic is not its leaves or bark, but its seeds. Found inside its fruit, the seeds contain high doses of cerberin, which work to severely slow down a person's heart rate. With one seed strong enough to kill someone in a matter of one to two days, and with about 50 people falling victim to the suicide tree every year, it's probably best to stay as far away as possible from this tree's sinister seeds. Native to Europe and North America, the hemlock has been used as a poison for millennia, with the Greek philosopher Socrates perhaps being its most famous victim. Poison hemlock is most common in Europe, and water hemlock is most common in North America. Yet despite their similar names, they both act in very different ways. Poison hemlock contains the deadly toxic conian, which at a dose as low as 0.15 grams quickly spreads through the body 
paralyzes the lungs and results in death. Water hemlock, on the other hand, contains sicutoxin and sicunol. These act as powerful neurotoxins, causing violent convulsions and widespread brain damage that often leads to death. I think it goes without saying that Socrates probably wasn't a huge fan. This purple flower may look pretty, but hold off from making it the next addition to your garden. Found throughout Asia and Europe, it commonly goes by much more threatening names, such as the Devil's Helmet and Wolf's Bane. This is due to the high concentration of aconitine found throughout the entire plant, a poison so strong that shepherds used to dip their arrows in it to kill wolves attacking their flocks. If ingested, aconite has a number of nasty side effects, which include, but are not limited to, drooling, vomiting, irregular heartbeat, and ultimately, death via respiratory failure. Not fun stuff, guys. <gasps> oh no! The plant made an appearance under its nickname Wolf's Bane in 1931's Dracula. More Wolf's Bane. In the film, it was used to repel Dracula by placing its sprigs around Mina Seward's neck as she sleeps. Pretty risky technique if you ask me, but I'm no Van Helsing. In other spooky news, Wolf's Bane is mentioned in various occult texts, including the Wiccan Reed and Aleister Crowley's Holy Books of Thelema. However, despite the dangers, it is commonly used as a medicinal herb, although most reputable health agencies advise against using the plant for obvious reasons, if processed properly, the toxins can be made harmless. Although the science is rather shaky, some evidence suggests that properly treated aconite can relieve joint pain, improve kidney function, and reduce heart problems. However, given the plant's toxic tendencies, it's probably best to stick to the over-the-counter meds. Found throughout Central America and the Caribbean, the manchineal tree is so toxic that it holds the Guinness World Record for being the world's most dangerous tree. Unlike most trees on this list, every single part of the tree is oozing with toxins. So much so that even standing close to it can cause asphyxiation. Breaking it down piece by piece, the most common way that people fall victim to the tree is by eating its fruit. Although they look, smell, and taste just like miniature apples, they have a bit more of a kick, if you know what I mean. This is because these seemingly sweet treats cause your throat to swell shut and mouth to burn for hours on end, and they occasionally even prove to be fatal. However, the fruit is perhaps the safest part of the mansion eel. The sap is even worse. Oozing throughout the tree, it is so strong that if it comes into contact with your skin or eyes, it can burn right through and cause permanent scarring and blindness. This is especially problematic for unknowing tourists, as there have been countless cases of people getting horrific blisters just by sheltering from the rain under the manchineel's branches. So next time you're on a tropical vacation, be sure to stick to the palm trees and steer clear of the menacing manchineel. With castor oil being widely used as a skin moisturizer and hair conditioner, among other things, it is hard to believe that the very seed it comes from contains a deadly toxin. But you don't have to take our word for it. After all, the castor plant officially holds the Guinness World Record as the world's most dangerous plant. Now you're probably wondering, how could castor oil be so widely used yet so deadly? Well, the truth of the matter is that 50% of the castor bean contains useful and harmless oil. However, the rest of the bean contains ricin which is a very dangerous toxin. In fact, ricin is such an effective killer that the Soviets used the compound to assassinate Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov in 1978. And if the Soviets are using it, you know it's good stuff. However, when the ricin in castor beans is eaten rather than injected, it becomes a thousand times less deadly. Great news, right? Well, maybe not. It turns out that even when diluted to a thousand times its strength, it only takes about eight of these nasty beans to kill a full-grown adult. So although castor beans may look tasty, we suggest maybe not making them your next snack. Thanks for watching Super Freaky Science. Don't forget to subscribe.